Hey y'all, how are you? It's Burgess Taylor, or Journey with Burgess. And today, for our coffee chat, we're going to be talking about, I guess it could be called a cycle of productivity and then a rut. I think sometimes it happens quite a bit for people who are creative. What has been happening to me, I have been going through stages where I'm really productive. I've got all these ideas and things and I'm like doing really well and I'm getting things done. Boom, 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 boom. And then something will happen. It could be anxiety. It could be depression. It could be burnout. It could be uh, something comes up with family or uh, with the house or with the vehicle, any number of things. Because of that, I end up where I'm not quite as productive and things get a bit chaotic and I'm trying to choose between getting work done. It could even be getting work done around the house, getting this work done, or I'm having to choose between home and family or work, being really productive, getting things done. I'm doing really well and then I get sick. Sometimes I get sick and it's a physical sickness like the flu, which I am getting over now. And I had the flu shot. Anyway, or it will be where I get ill because of fibromyalgia or I have a rheumatoid arthritis and then the regular arthritis. And um, if I overdo it, my neck and my shoulders my hands too but what happens is i i overextend myself and then i end up in a rut so sometimes the ruts are mental sometimes the ruts are physical but you kind of end up in this rut and then i'm not very productive at all i'm doing all i can do to keep my shit together um to get a little bit of work done um, get patreon stuff done sometimes i'm a little bit slow in getting things done there too and YouTube has taken the brunt of that, and sometimes my house has taken the brunt of that. But as somebody who has chronic pain and illness, along with, well, uh, different things, <laughs> we'll just say different things, sometimes it's difficult. But I have found here lately that there, there are ways that you can do things without overwhelming yourself without I mean sometimes you just have to think outside of the box because you so sometimes you have tunnel vision so much so on what you think you should be doing on like for me getting a video done well sometimes it's hard to get a video done so maybe a post with a picture and stuff you know is good uh, because it lets people know hey this is what I'm doing but if you can do something that will spark inspiration, motivation. One little thing, one sort of small inspiration, and if you can do that and you actually take action, then it promotes more. And then you're doing a little bit more and a little bit more and you're feeling more inspired and motivated because each action helps you proceed to a further action. So sometimes for me, it's taking a shower. Sometimes like it could just be getting out of bed. And then the next step is to brush my teeth. And the next step is to take a shower, make coffee, get dressed. And then other times, let's say I'm, I'm feeling like I want to create, I want to do something. So that's when maybe I swatch some watercolors or I just start journaling. I just start doing like a brain dump and getting all those ideas and thoughts and bits and pieces that are going on in my head out on paper. Sometimes it could be to read a book, to watch a video, to listen to a podcast, listen to an audiobook. It can be any number of things. And I think sometimes we get caught up, like some of us reward ourselves for these bigger things. Like during NaNoWriMo, you reward yourself if you win with a t-shirt a winter t-shirt or some of us reward ourselves with pins some of us reward ourselves with different things sometimes we get a little caught up in rewarding ourselves for those bigger wins 
when we should actually sometimes be rewarding ourselves for the little wins because on the days when I don't feel like getting out of bed getting out of that bed brushing my teeth taking a shower getting dressed I can reward myself for those 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 small wins ended up making a productive a really productive head start to get aid maybe I did a little laundry after I got dressed out got out of the shower and got dressed maybe I took a picture created a post and said hey I want to know what kind of videos you want I would like to know what you're most interested in and I put a post on YouTube for the discussion the community thing and I, I don't think I've heard very much sometimes it takes a couple of different things so I have been working on my studio and as you can see I have rearranged some things I have a few more things that I'm working on like I've got to go to Dollar Tree and get a frame to put I've got a picture over there it's dictionary art it says if you get tired learn to rest not to quit so let's say for example my reward for getting up brushing my teeth taking a shower making coffee wiping off the kitchen counter taking a picture writing a post getting a few things around the house picked up doing a load of laundry my reward when I'm not feeling well if I actually got those things done is to maybe take a 30 minute nap or even an hour nap and then I feel rested you know I've got some things done I've got some laundry done I've got a little bit of cleaning done I was productive I got something done that I wanted to get done that for work and that helped me so now I need to help myself part of self-care and maybe I need to take a, a little nap I definitely know that I need to get outside and get some fresh air and maybe walk around the yard at least even if I can't walk my mile or two I need to walk around the yard let's say I do walk around the yard sit in my comfy chair read a little bit that could be my reward read for pleasure not for self-improvement or for research or for something I'm learning but for the sheer pleasure of it I could read for 20 or 30 minutes that could be a reward we sh I should be doing that anyway but it, if it helps me stay motivated if I do these things because otherwise sometimes I don't fit things like reading for pleasure into my day because I'm so busy trying to get housework done trying to get work work done and I'm failing miserably because I don't have enough me to get everything done because what I've been doing lately the last few months more than that actually is getting a bunch of stuff done all at one time like being super productive and then I get burnt out then I get exhausted and then I'm not good for anything so I decided to th this year I would be pacing myself and if I couldn't get some things done then it was okay I'm not gonna beat myself up over it because before if I didn't post to YouTube I was beating myself up so this year I'm gonna do more live videos Mo some of them will be during the day I will try to do one or two a month in the evening around 7 my time which is Eastern Standard Time but I think I might do a video on say a Wednesday at like one or two o'clock my time if I do that live then I don't have to edit y'all get to actually get a video <laughs> but I get to chat with y'all like right then and there which is so awesome for me so rewarding yourself for the small wins not just the big ones taking breaks those are like majorly important things letting your routine your schedule kind of grow organically which is something I've been really trying to do this year my husband got a new job and he's not gonna be driving an 18 wheeler anymore he this coming Monday on the 10th he starts his new job and he'll be on days when I do live videos in the evening which won't be a problem sometimes I could probably do one or two a month so for me like on day one take at least one to two actions towards getting on my routine so some of those actions this month have been to clean off my craft table to move that arm that I can film with with my regular camera for the journal with me's and the plan with me's
That way I can clear up some of the stuff on my desk, which is where I do the live videos. But I really miss doing stuff with my camera and it takes much better videos. And then my one or two actions could also be I'm making plans for my self-care journal, which is not something I've only done a little bit of stuff in it. I'm trying to get projects and stuff also done. This year I want, I'm doing two big creative projects that are intertwined. I am trying to figure out how to get everything done and ready and then getting things done and ready for creative journaling and planning class, of course. And then I'm also writing a book about creative journaling and planning. And I've been taking myself uh, way too serious with some things. So my goal this month and the rest of the year, now last month I was doing pretty well. Some things worked, some things didn't. I let things grow organically and moved along and just let go of whatever wasn't working. Um, I did sort of, in the beginning, kind of start to feel pretty guilty about changing things up. And then, of course, I listened to Miss Vicki B, who I love dearly. And um, Ro had suggested some a video of Miss Vicki B's, and I went back searching. And then I watched that video, the older video, and then I, I was like, okay, you know. So I joined Miss Vicki B's Patreon. And I'm now a patron of Miss Vicky B's. I'm a patron of, of Courtney's and Bromine's and Leanne's. And those are among my favorite, favorite. There are quite a few others, but can't afford to be a patron of all of those I love. Eventually, I'll get there. <laughs> so anyway, what I wanted to do was get back to doing what I love. And not being so fussy about compartmentalizing things. This goes in this and this goes in that. And just sort of enjoying myself and letting things sort of grow organically. So you're going to see during this month some things that I've been changing. And I'll talk about what I changed, why I changed it, or where I let go of something and am doing something different. I have notebooks that probably during the year I'll go back to and maybe those will become a brain dump journal or a morning pages journal or what Miss Vicky B calls a life journal. I've been thinking about that life journal thing and my big A5 creative journaling I think may end up becoming my life journal. It's part of what's going on in your life but it, it's more about life in general. For me anyway it would be some of the things that we're loving, some of the things that I want to keep a record of outside of my daily life, you know, because some of my journals are more about my daily, weekly, monthly life, documenting my life that way, where the life journal would be just documenting my life. So it doesn't mean it's not, the year is not really important, the month is not really important, the day is not really important, I'll be dating things. But if it goes from, say, 2019 to, say, 2024, hey, that's cool. I mean, that would be like a five-year journal um, without actually getting a five-year journal. Because the idea of writing a line a day doesn't really appeal to me. I'm a writer. I like writing. That's one of the reasons why I have trouble with regular uh, Writer Carol's method, rapid logging in my bullet journal. I don't do that kind of rapid logging very often, a little bit. I write out things. I am a journaler, a writer. I am long-winded and rambly, and um, my life is not so complicated that I have to abbreviate things completely. It's, I mean, it's simple enough that I can take up four pages for one day in my bullet journal if I want to. And because I have ADHD, if I become distracted, and let's say I abbreviate something and I only write a short little message, I may not remember what that short little message is or what that abbreviation is. There's very little that I actually shorthand rapid log. That's what I think of it as. I actually just write things. Now my to-dos are kind of shorthand rapid log, but they're pretty simple. So what I wanted to talk about today was this, this rut. And I think every day you do a little more. So every day I add a little bit more. This is a good month to do that because I was sick at the end of January. The whole week. Last week. So 
I've been remiss with things. And now to start over this first week of February feels like a good place to really start some of the next step of what I'm doing for letting this year grow organically, being more creative. I'm planning, but I'm not so locked in on things that I can't be spontaneous or impulsive or change my mind and decide to do what I'm doing for dinner two nights from now, do that tonight and switch it up. You know, I mean, I'm not being rigid in things. I'm being open-minded to sort of following and going with the flow, but having concrete plans about things that really matter. So like paying the bills, trying to get my videos done. And, and then I'm being, trying to be this month way more accountable. So while I was sick, I posted a picture, I posted a post, I let people know, hey, I've got the flu. I um, journaled about the craft table, which I'm going to show you in a minute because that was something that was important to me. And I actually wrote notes for this chat. I just hadn't till now got along, got, got it. But, but it's okay because I had the flu. So now was a be much better time to actually do this chat. So let's, let's transition. Okay, right, so I had posted a picture of my desk because I'd cleaned off my desk. And that got me thinking about what is this mess of a craft table that you see there. And so I started making plans. When I first started thinking about it, I had ordered a Lazy Susan and these shelving units. I've still got to get some 8x10 frames. I'm going to Dollar Tree for those. I was thinking I've got to get a, a poster frame because the poster you see back here is is actually just stuck on the wall I, with push pins. I'm going to get a poster frame. I've got these little red shelves that used to be on my wall behind me where those cubbies are. And I need to put them up on this wall. I've got to find the wall brace things to go in there. But anyway... I drew things out. I was thinking, okay, what do I want to do? Now I've changed things up with the pictures, but Dave and I might be moving things around once I get the poster frame. But I didn't really want the poster in the way of my light either. So then we get to February setup, and I put a quote by Maya Angelis, one of her poems. And then I had this wreath. But then Courtney did her monster PDF and I was like, oh my gosh, it is so adorable. So absolutely adorable. So I printed it on 68 GSM Tome Away River paper and put it in here because it is so friggin' cute. I think this is, might be other than the book monster she did with the stack of books that it, that is on one of my journals as a cover. I co use that for collage. I think this might be one of my very favorites. I love, I love, love, love this. Like, I love the way that certain people do things. And those kinds of things can inspire you, even if that's not how you do things. They're um, how they think outside the box, doing their own thing. All the people that I follow are very much people who do their own thing. And I have been known to... Uh, get a little FOMO and do what other people are doing. I have been known to get inspired by somebody and then kind of follow along and do kind of like what they're doing until little by little by little by little I start doing my own thing. It's how, how you learn sometimes. I have this amaryllis plant and I took a picture of it but I also painted it for February and I used all different kinds of flowers for February because I was originally going to do crystals and I had mystology. Well, I messed up the crystals so badly, so badly, that there was no saving. It. Now, eventually I will find some things and maybe I can cover that paper, find some things and maybe I'll be able to use some kind of collage stuff to cover up those pages and I'll go back to that. Because I like the stology paper. I like the um, grid on the B6 better than the smaller grid in this Hobonichi blank. But I love 52 GSM and 68 GSM Tomoe River paper. And then I think the next paper that I love would be the Stology paper or mixed media paper. After mixed media paper would probably be like 
120 to 160 pound paper depending on what I'm doing so anyway I have um, this ready we're doing coffee chat here the groundhog did not see his shadow so I left no shadow there this was what I was doing and that's why that YouTube thing is there it was supposed to go up that the video that I made for you all had no sound somehow it got corrupted and I'm talking but there's no sound so we're gonna go back to what kind of the setup is really quickly but I wanted to show you February's setup so here is February's log and then there's notes right here in case I need them and then these are February's goals and here is the amaryllis plant and that's where I got that from and then I went with sort of that same theme for my February tracker this is the mood tracker and I've done the two petals so I have how I started the day and how I ended the day so for example today I have started the day happy and normal Saturday I started the day tired and ended the day normal the medicine that kicked in I was feeling finally starting to feel better on the first on Saturday I started the day tired ended up happy normal because the medicine kicked in on this day I started the day happy normal and then ended up tired because I realized it was not I'm still weak from the flu I'm not really running a fever too much anymore but I am still achy and just uh, oh, so but I am feeling better I'm feeling human again I'm just still weak and tired and anyway so today I started the same way I'm starting normal feeling pretty good I got sleep um, which shows here Saturday night I got more sleep than I did Friday night or last night which was Sunday night I'm doing the night before on that day where I'm showing my sleep and then I have my regular tracker and that's going pretty well and this is pain productivity and sleep so like I don't have productivity here today and I don't have pain yet here because right now I'm okay I gotta find my bottle of believe because I took Tylenol which is good for the fever and but not so good for my inflammation I will fill things in as I go and but this is so far going really well I like how this is because I've got squares and then dots and then this goes up this way and eventually I will connect these but I'm not going to until I get more because it's just easier to wait a little bit to connect them and then this is the weekly spread and I included Saturday and Sunday from the very beginning of February even though that was technically last week I'm doing this actually my studio vlog just finished up patreon so I have get film and upload the coffee chat and I've got to go pick up my prescription we were gonna have taco night tonight but we ended up having homemade nacho on Sunday so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight so we'll see I think I might make some chicken and make a salad for me and make some wraps for David so to do is I have a sticky note it's time to work on creating a few tip-ins I want to make myself some tip-ins with some cut out pieces of watercolor and mixed media paper and this I'm trying this running list so when I get this done I will put it on the date that I have here and do it along with different things for Patreon and YouTube and you know whatever I do and that way I can kind of keep track of things I don't know how well this is gonna work I will say that I liked it's not in this I have this other way of doing my weekly I like much better so I guess we'll go to here now um, this is my these things are so strong this is my Filofax Malden and it is it was that purple color sorry for the plane y'all but I live near the Air Force Base so I dyed it and now it's sort of like this black cherry color so anyway I have this calendar it's a um, I got from Dollar Tree and it has a bunch of different things in the front like conversion tables and toll free numbers and international clothing sizes and temperatures the holidays 
um, the year at a glance and then here's January's calendar and here is February's calendar. This works really well because I can pull this out and put it in whatever traveler's notebook or folio or whatever I'm using unless it's the standard. It'll go in A5, it'll go in the B6. Wouldn't fit in the A6. I've ordered one for standard because I am going to do something. I've never really been a standard person. But well, you know what? I can make some inserts. And we're going to talk about some things when I show you the setup for it. Which will probably be next week. Um, it is sort of a Valentine's Day kind of thing. A Valentine's present to me. Anyway, I'll we'll get to that. Uh, because I don't want to get... I don't want to talk about it too much. I want it to sort of be a surprise. So anyway, it's got sections for notes in here after this. It's got like a thing, kind of like a future log like this and then you have notes and then it has travel expenses um, which I'm going to be changing and then it has this place for phone numbers so I'm putting down places I order from so like Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, um, Documented Journey their websites are the same as their names for some people it's different so if I need somebody's address I have this little moleskin peeled note size that I write everybody's address in this is pretty much it y'all um i put this on the front i put this in here i collaged this on here with this quote today i plan to take the leap no matter that my heart beats a little fast my knees feel a bit shaky or my voice quivers today i plan to take the leap that will launch me on the right path charles glassman and the reason i chose this um i really love how free and this just shouts freedom it shouts refresh restart meditation all these things that I'm working on this year this just shouted to me confidence so I put it in here because I'm on the right path for me and this is a leap year suit so these are my life goals I haven't filled this part out because there are some things that I want to work on that are kind of private and I will fill them in a little bit. I actually have them on a post, some of it on a post-it note. So put January's calendar in here. I know I talked about perfection, uh, perfectionism, and then I screwed up so badly in my astrology that it just made me go, ah, and when I feel that way, it's better if I just go ahead and kind of go, and then eventually I'll go back to the astrology. So I just kind of did some things. So I was sick here. This is where I was working on things and this is where Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the and the Mamba team I think that's what they were called that was so sad the, the helicopter crash I'm kind of in a running list I need some Tombow adhesive refills some packing tape I need some of the different shades or red shades of the zigs real clean color brush pens or maybe some Tombows I prefer the zigs and the mild liners rather than the Tombows. I know people are big fans of the Tombows. I like the Tombows, okay. Um, this was Tuesday. This is a coffee chat. And I kind of combined um, some things. I think I did some of this for Patreon. And I combined a few of these things. Because like I said in this video, I've got to get back into doing things for myself. And that's part of self-care is my one of my themes for February. It's self-love, self-care, kindness, showing others and myself compassion and kindness. This is where I cleaned my desk and I showed Patreon that. This is where I was going to do the coffee chat for y'all and I wrote things out. Oh, Victor had an eye doctor appointment. He's getting glasses. And me and my daughter and Victor and the baby went to the eye doctor appointment. It was rather long because I was going to do the live coffee chat that night and talk about this stuff. But it took so long. By the time I got home, I was exhausted. And this is when I had first started feeling sick. I told my daughter that day, I hope I'm not getting sick. This was where I made plans for the craft table. I took a picture of the mess and made started making the plans before I delved into much of anything. This is where I'm working on my reflection and review for January. I'm not done. And then here is February setup. This is Saturday. And this is the amaryllis plant. Look how gorgeous. There's two different pictures put there. I wanted to catch both angles. 
because it's got a couple of more blooms. I'm going to take it outside in just a little bit while this video is saving, water it, and let it get some sunshine. This is where I'm working on that thing that I was talking about, like making my inserts for, I think it might be project planning, but I'm not positive after thinking about things. It might be for a specific project instead of projects. This was Sunday, and I want to take a picture of this and put it here, and then I've got a little bit of journaling I want to do here because I started watching The Outsider, um, this series by Stephen King that's on HBO, and so far I'm loving it. Um, but I want to put a picture here, and then I might do something else here or do some journaling here. I might leave it blank, I don't know. Um, or I might do some journaling here and then put the picture of the craft table here. And then this is today's, and um, I finished up load a lot. I finished up the laundry yesterday. So while I've got stuff uploading or whatever, I think I'm gonna listen to an audio book or podcast while I fold laundry. And I am filming. So the next step will be editing. I do need to go to the grocery store, and I've already done my admin. That's where I'm at. And I need some more coffee creamer. Just so y'all know, the mostly unedited versions of these videos go up on Patreon, not monetized. And then YouTube gets the video so that Patreon, that's one of their benefits. Thank y'all for being here, for watching. I am making changes on YouTube. I need to do a new like trailer video. But I would like, before I make the changes, like to know what kind of videos you prefer. Would you rather have more live coffee chats? Would you rather have more videos kind of like this one? Would you rather I uh, did journal with me's and time lapse them or not time, time the non time lapse ones? I'm just going to say they take forever because sometimes when I do a journal page, sometimes it'll take 30 minutes, sometimes it takes three hours. So it really just depends. But would you rather have journal with me's or plan with me's? If you want to plan with me, I can tell you how I plan because how I plan has now changed. It's actually a much better system. It's working much better for me. It's sort of a combination of a bunch of different ways that I've seen other people plan. There's the system like scripting your days combined with bullet journaling combined with, I don't know. But we'll, we, you know, we can talk about it. Um, I'll see y'all later. Please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like. If you want me to, I can do a poll based on everybody's answers. And then we can, you know, the top three or four, you know, and then, or maybe I can make a list of videos that y'all want to see. I've been also thinking a lot of people have done the videos about what your assumptions of me are. If you have assumptions of me, and you would like for me to do a video about that let me know in the comments what your assumptions are that you'd like to have that kind of video um it's a chat video and then what your assumptions are and i will see y'all again soon thanks for watching don't forget to like comment if you can please and uh, hit the notification bell to make sure you get the notifications if you haven't already subscribed please do so thanks y'all bye